hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers so guys in this video i will get you started with the stm32 microcontrollers so we will be downloading and installing stm32 cube id the controllers and the boards that are easily available are the black pill the blue pill the discovery uh, on the market easily so the cube id is used to program those boards there is another one as well as uh, also like mx id sector stm32 you will not need to install those because these microcontrollers are programmed using the cube id so to download it there is a bit difficult procedure as compared to other microcontrollers just go to your browser i have google chrome so i log into the google chrome and on the google chrome write down download stm32 cube id like this press enter this window pops up the first link click on it and then wait for it see there it is mentioned it's a cube id you do not need to download the mx id because the boards we use are like these one like uh, stm32 black pill this board uh, so these boards are easily available at our places these one so uh, or also the uh, discovery recovery boards uh, these one or the nucle nucleo boards like this one this one they all are programmed using the cube id there is another one the mx id you do not need that for these boards that that those are for the latest ones like mx series of boards so click on get software there the good thing is this id is completely free but the problem is you have to log in to get this id so i click on now you can see various options available only this one the windows installer because we are going to use it on the window you click on the get latest version once you click here it will ask you for this agreement click on accept now either you create your account or you log in if you have already i don't have any i click on create a stm32 account salutation mr write the name learning last name microcontrollers email microcontrollers dot learning at the rate of gmail dot com email confirmation microcontrollers dot learning at the rate of gmail dot com so this is the name function uh, just uh, write any that you prefer i just write uh, anything uh, that suits okay just a professor okay that will do fine so here you have options engineering okay engineering will do also fine okay the next thing is the university or the company you may write any i write learning microcontrollers and industry is anything you may write if you have any else you may write yourself as a student or some something like that i call it semiconductor something okay country i am in pakistan right now okay zip code just a zip code of the city now that is a problem here unlike the microchip uh, micro c and the arduino you need to fill these forms to get the full access to the stm because it's a free software they don't ask for money but they ask for information just write the phone number if you have any so for the phone number i write 3105386 okay is it necessary i don't think so it's necessary so it's not necessary okay i accept click register okay thank you now we have it now an email to set or reset your password has been sent to microcontrollers dot learning at the rate of gmail dot com please note that it may take up to 20 minutes to receive it to activate your account and set the password please follow the link inside the mail now you have to wait for the mail so there will be an email coming so we have to wait so guys there we have the email see this email i got from the stm32 this one stm electronics please validate your email address click on validate now here you go this window pops up set up your password whatever the password you prefer write any password you prefer i write one any password okay i write okay here you go click on submit now because it's a free software you have to go through this process else you will not be able to get to the full functionality of it so the registration has been completed now you have to log in 
you have to also lock it on the uh, during the programming as well else you will not get the full features okay write the email micro controllers dot learning at the rate of gmail dot com password okay there we go okay now we are logged in okay we are logged in okay here you have this get software it will automatically start downloading the software because we have already clicked it see it is downloading you have to wait it will be like three to four hundred mb software at least so you have to wait just wait for it to complete so guys here you go it has been downloaded it was like one point some gb so i click on the folder open the folder it was 1.09 gb so it is as per today that is 21st of march 2025 it gets latest updates every like every week i will say so you just keep on checking so just copy this from your download folder place it in some suit suitable folder i make a new folder in my c drive called stm32 setup open this folder paste it here like this now now you just extract it here Okay, extract here wait for it to extract the setup unlike others this is a bit complex thing to download and install now here you go it's extracted you run the setup click on yes okay it is please wait while the setup is verifying here you click on next i agree now the path where you want to install remember that this software it's mentioned like three point let me open the magnifier for you you guys can see better now the problem is that it mentions 3.5 gb here but it remember you must have like 10 to 15 gb in the drive in which you are installing this because once you install it whichever board you select like we select the black bill board it will download the library for the respective board as soon as you select it that will be additional 2 to 3 gb each for each microcontroller so remember that it like downloads the gui and other interfaces so this must be like 10 to 15 gb in which you are installing and with each new board that you use you must have additional 2 to 3 gb in your drive click on next and stlink driver because stlink is required to program it click on install let it install okay we wait it uh, i don't think so it will take a lot of time it already by default it have some mcus but the ones we use usually are not there so as soon as you select them it again stop this is a free software remember that only the problem with this is that you need to log in to use it and also during your normal programming if you want to update it as soon if you don't log in it will not be able to update your software so if you log in only then you get the full features else there is always a problem if you select a new microcontroller while you are not logged in and not connected to the internet then you will not be able to get the library for that new microcontroller and you will not be able to program it so you have to be logged in you need a stable internet connector to use it so once you have downloaded the library then you may log out and use it to just program that respective microcontroller so on the hardware at least 15 gb and then you also need to go through this process like which i am showing you here okay let it just install okay i pause the video until it's being complete completed so guys here it is now downloaded now click on next and create desktop shortcut it's fine click on finish now it's downloaded and is installed now you go to your search bar we are not done yet write down stm32 
there you got this click click on it okay the software is starting up for the first run okay now it will ask for you to just uh, what workspace you want to create wherever you want to create just write anything i write uh, first run okay that is what i will create click on launch okay the software is launching for the first run now if it was some other one like arduino or microchip i was to say okay it's over now you have downloaded and installed it here you go but this is a different story still there is something to be done okay once you run it for the first time it shows up this page just minimize it now here it will ask you to uh, like feature usage static agreement click on okay now you should like exclude it from the microsoft windows defender for its smooth functioning click on proceed and now the power shell will open up and close okay that's all now the software is ready no, but still we are not done yet as i told you now see that we are in the software but as i told you earlier this software requires a constant internet connection see over here it will keep on downloading different stuff now the problem with this is that uh, you have to like connect it to the internet and then you also have to log in for its to use its complete feature it's a free software they don't ask for money so uh, usually in the previous versions there was used to be a my st tab over here next to the help but now that my st tab has been moved here go to help here you have this uh, stm32 updates here you have connection to my st now this my st used to be here in the past now in this version it has been moved here so you click on it now you have to log in so there you go here this window pops up connection to my st click on enter my st and wait now it is connecting to the internet you have to wait if you do not log in you will not be able to even if you select any board you have you will not be able to get the updates for that board and as you as you as soon as you get to the programming window it will ask you to log in it will give an error so better you log in before you use it else this will be a problem so write down uh, we just uh, signed up remember uh, for the downloading you have to use the same id here micro controllers dot learning at the rate of gmail.com that was the id i used for sign up and the password you set over there just use the same password over here that will be your id okay microcontrollers.learning at the rate of gmail.com okay remember this computer that will be fine click on login now wait if it's successful if i didn't made any error okay we are now logged in now you are ready to use this stm32 cube id to program anything you want whatever you want to prefer now you are successfully into it now all the features are unlocked you need two things one you need to be connected to the internet another one is that you must have logged in so that's all you need so guys this is it for this video in the next video i will show you how to blink an led using this so uh, stay in tune for the next lecture so guys goodbye we'll see you in the next lecture